Hi everybody, Mike Sugar here. I have in my hands a custom Mario DeCio guitar. It's a steel string acoustic guitar. That's his logo, Mario DeCio. DeCio guitars, you can find them online. D-E-S-I-O guitars. Check him out. He does some very unique work. This is a work of art in the number of woods reclaimed piano wood, reclaimed ivory piano keys put into uh, the neck dots, the markers, dot markers, uh, on the neck and on the side. We have Coca-Bolo, we have Pau Ferro, we have Maple, we have Mahogany, special r rosette and truss rod cover, a lot of artistic aspects, but make no mistake, this guitar plays. I'll play a couple of things uh, so you can hear some picking, flat picking, finger picking. I've got a slide over there. I'll try that too. And then I'll t tell you what I think. A couple feet out is a Neumann KM184 small diaphragm condenser microphone going into an API 312 preamp stock using the stock op amps from API 312 preamp. Um, when this goes to YouTube, of course, they change the format a little bit and they compress it a little bit. I will use minimal compression when putting this together. So you're hearing my voice through the same KM184 Neumann mic that I'll play the guitar through. So check it out. Steel strings. He's got uh, 13s on here. 13 is the E string. So, you know, medium, uh, medium set. Uh, at least when I get my strings, I play 12s often and they are considered light. So 13s about a standard set for acoustic guitar. Uh, check it out, man.
I should point out, for, especially for the flat picking and strumming, we did find when I was hanging out with Mario that a heavier pick, especially on, on, on uh, you know, new strings on a really nice guitar, the different kind of pick that you use really does make a difference. Uh, I often play heavies. This is a medium, uh, Planet Waves, uh, grippy, medium pick. Uh, so for the strumming, where you pick really makes a difference. And certainly for the flat picking, if you're using a heavy pick, it's going to have a different sound than a, than a medium or a, a thin pick or what kind of material it's made out of. So medium pick, standard kind of plastic. saying I'll try a little slide on it so I gave you a little finger picking I gave you a little flat picking I gave you a little strummy strum a lot of first position stuff but also some uh, blues and uh, you know and some of the bar chords so you got a pretty good sense of how it sounded so far let me just try a little slide here I'll do a, a, a D tune so you can get it some context right slide down I'll tell you what when you're here in the room with this thing it is just barreling right through this is a loud guitar it's got a lot of bass response uh, the top end is great too especially with some new strings nice and sheeny and I wonder how much that would change if you used a different gauge of strings I think he puts elixirs on here so not my usual brand or you know obviously um, type of string but uh, you know medium strings elixir they sound great it's really bright but boy that bottom end especially with that detuning is just like a brick wall coming into your acoustic space uh, it's a loud guitar in general but a lot of great bass response I would say uh, for strumming for first position just you know singer songwriter chording wow it's just really loud <laughs> and and beautiful and and uh, I'd say balanced in a way. I'd say it's, you know, actually even more like accentuated on the bottom and with these, uh, you know, a new set of strings. Um, I haven't played it with dead strings on it. Uh, That's how I took it home from Mario's. But with new strings, that bottom is really, uh, really present, and the top is really present. So maybe actually a little bit of a, a dip in the, in your um, just mids, not not high mids or low mids, but just the straight up mids. But that's. 
I'm not saying you're leaving your D string or, or your G string out, but just the overall balance of the of the frequencies. Um, a loud guitar for slide, it actually comes out to me in the room here a little bit, uh, almost almost dobro-ish. But um, for for my playing, which, where I use flesh with a slide sometimes and pick, just a little bit pinched, uh, even or as or as much as my you know parlor sized guitars. Um, for finger picking nice and evenly balanced but I did I felt like I had to kind of fight to keep the top strings um, a little bit more uh, present over the bottom because I'm not used to a guitar that's got that much bottom to it so these low strings are speaking really well and so I, for the kind of guitars that I usually perform with I find I had to like really remember to bring the top strings in into their place and uh, let the bottom strings slide back a little bit in terms of how I was playing with my right hand. Flat picking was great. Um, again, every note just speaks out. And if you're doing note by note, you don't have to worry about the balance of the lower strings and the bass strings against the top strings. So but you can even hear how that low E string, especially tuned to D at this point, is really just uh, no problem. You don't have to work it, <laughs> which I guess is what I'm used to. In any case, check out the bottom of the screen here. I'm going to have all the different woods that were put together in this, the reclaimed, the quarter sawn, the coca bolo, the pow ferro. It's all going to be in there. Um, and I asked Mario to double check me on my work. There's a lot of special reclaimed woods, piano woods, piano key ivory put in this. It's an artistic piece. And it's an amazing musical instrument. So way to go, Mario DeCio. I asked you to also say this is a one, uh, one of a kind. Not just the cuts of wood that are in here, but he builds a lot of different kinds of guitars, custom order. If whatever, whatever you want, Mario will, uh, will make it for you. He's been doing this since 2008 and learning all the time. And every time I hang with Mario, I learn something new. So thank you, Mario. Uh, this is a DeCio custom six-string steel acoustic guitar. All right, everybody, have a great day. Nice to see you.